Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Um, in this one, we're going to be going over how to increase your FPS and reduce stutter and Valorant. So just to start off, we're going to be going into the NVIDIA website and we're going to be updating our drivers. So as you can see, just pick your product series and your operating system and then just search to see if you need to update your drivers. And once you're done that, we're gonna be going into the Razer Cortex Game Booster. Uh, this app really helped me with um, improving my stuttering uh, as I was having a lot of issues with that because I run like a medium uh, performance PC. So this helped like crazy, just very simple. Just download the application right there. It's gonna auto boost, maximize your FPS and free up resources. So if you scroll through the website just like this, you're gonna see what exactly they do um, if you wanna know more about how it all works. Uh, but it releases RAM and things like that so that it boosts your gaming performance. I also noticed a little bit of an increase with my FPS when I ran Razer Cortex. So when you actually download the app, you're gonna see Valorant already show up in your library. Um, it's very cool because you can also uh, track how many hours you're playing in the game. And it's also going to track your FPS throughout. Okay, following this, we're going to go into game mode settings and we're going to disable them. This is again just going to help with not having more processes running in the background. Okay, following this we're going to be going into the NVIDIA control panel and go into manage 3D settings. And uh, if you want you can just copy these settings. I've actually looked all over the internet to find the best settings for uh, uh, you know performance and to have your FPS as high as possible. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and just copy these, I'm going to scroll down nice and slow. Ensure your power management mode is set to prefer maximum performance. Following this, we're going to go into program settings and we're going to click on Valorant from the program list. And again, if you want to go ahead and copy my settings from here, it's going to ensure it gets you the best FPS possible. So the anisotropic filtering is set to 8x just because I want to have my skins looking very good. I've done a video on this as well. Um, with If you have it lower than 8x, you're not going to see, uh, your skins aren't going to look as good, some of them. So I suggest running, uh, running that as well. The next step to this whole process is to be going into your power options from Windows. And there is a Razer Cortex plan after you uh, install the app. Uh, again, I like this and it's been helping as well. So I just set it to that. Up next, we're going to open up Valorant and we're going to go into the video settings here. Um, as you can see, I've set all of my max FPS is to 144 along with my limit FPS always. Um, the reason being my monitor is a 144 hertz. Uh, you could just set it to whatever monitor uh, you have. I also suggest running the display mode on full screen always. Just another quick tip, the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency needs to be on plus boost always. Okay, so when you open up Razer Cortex, this is what you're really gonna see. And then from the launcher, you're gonna start the game. As soon as you click start, you're gonna see that your PC is gonna release RAM and optimize all your apps so that you're getting the best performance possible. And then pretty much it starts up the app and you're good to go. 